Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to tell you about cross-site scripting or XSS attacks. Now, these are a little complicated to explain, but I'm going to do my best throughout this video and hopefully you'll have a better understanding of what these are and how to protect yourself from them. So, what is an XSS attack? Essentially, a hacker tricks a trusted website, can be any trusted website, with the XSS vulnerability. It tricks that site into putting malicious code onto its visitors' computers and into their browsers. And if a website has this vulnerability and a hacker discovers that, they usually exploit this vulnerability via links. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. But essentially, this link has a script in it. When someone clicks on that link, the script goes to the XSS vulnerable website. And then that script is executed on the visitor's browser. And then it basically does what it wants on your browser. This is going to make a little more sense when I talk to you about the steps of an XSS attack. So the first step is an attacker distributes links containing malicious code that are directed at a vulnerable website. And that link contains a script. That's the malicious code. It's a script that can be executed. When someone clicks on that link, they go to the, to the vulnerable website. That malicious code goes to the server. The server sends it back to the visitor's browser without the visitor even knowing anything's wrong. And the victim's browser sees that code as coming from a trusted website, so it executes it. And it'll either execute something, it'll download a file, or it'll give the hacker access to the cookies on your system. And so the victim doesn't even know what happened. The, the vulnerable site doesn't know what happened. The only person who knows it happened is the hacker who gets the information they want. So the big question is, who is actually vulnerable? Which websites are vulnerable to this hack? And the scary answer is any website with improper security measures, which is pretty much 99% of websites out there. But it's easily fixed. There's, it's, if you do the right steps, you can avoid being vulnerable. And luckily, it's not that hard. And a hacker can discover this vulnerability. They usually check on search forms on a website to discover the vulnerability. And then they create the links based on the knowledge that there is a vulnerability. But the vulnerability is most often found in ordinary website search forms. So how do we protect your site? At the end of the day, a developer needs to fix the XSS vulnerability. Because often this arises with plugins or themes where they allow code to be executed that shouldn't be executed. They don't have the proper filters on that malicious code that goes into the site. And so they give it back to the visitor, and that's where the malicious code attacks the visitor. So the developers need to fix it, and when they do fix it, they release an update to their themes or their plugins, or even the WordPress core files can be vulnerable. Updates are released very quickly after something like this is discovered. So the best way to protect your site is to always keep your plugins and themes and core files up to date. And this is actually the number one security threat that's facing WordPress sites right now, is the XSS attack. And so I want to give you a free tutorial that walks you through exactly how to protect yourself as best as possible and your visitors from an XSS vulnerability. Now this tutorial is free. All you have to do is click on the link below in the description or in the annotation below the red arrow and click on the link opt in and you'll get the video for free and you can have your WordPress site more secure within the next 20 minutes. So I really encourage you to go check out this, this tutorial. Again, it, it's free, so go check it out and secure your website. Protect yourself and your visitors from these security vulnerabilities. So I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped. Share it on your social media feeds, check out our social media feeds, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.